This next Tai Chi exercise connects the waist to the legs. Remember now, the movement starts in the legs, guided by the waist, expressed through the hands. For efficiency in movement and to navigate properly across any terrain, you need good stability, good foundation, good posture. When you connect your breath with your movement in a slow rhythmic pattern, you have Qigong. Qigong is really just Qi, our energy, time cultivated. All right, so now, waist movement. Very gentle, we got our natural base again. We're gonna gently turn the waist at first. See this? So we're connecting the waist to the legs. Notice I'm not moving the legs, not moving my knees. Very slow. Notice I'm turning the head. All right, we're gonna slow it down a little bit now. Let's get the feel for it first. This is what this is doing to your spine, relaxing the spine, loosening the spine. No? Just in the waist. This is your waist turn. I'm looking as far as I can without forcing it. From this natural posture, letting the hands turn naturally. Getting a feel for it? All right, so now that you have gotten a feel for this technique, let's add some structure to it. Sit, keep the knees steady without moving them. So now we're adding technique. Don't move the knees, keep the waist still turning. Look as far as you can without forcing it. Now I'm gonna use, let's activate the hands. Turning and wrapping my body. Turning the hands, wrapping the body. Keep your abdomen in. Now synchronize your breathing. Breathe in and out. In. Synchronize your breathing with your movement as much as you can without forcing either the in-breath or the out-breath. Sit a little lower. Oh yeah, now you're starting to get the flow. You see, you're getting leg work. You're starting to feel the legs, right? Grip the ground with your legs. Or grip the ground with your, with your toes. But stay relaxed through the whole process. Yes, man. It's good stuff, man. Let's add some footwork to this. Oh, yeah. Footwork and alignment. Up. See this? To the foot turn. See that? Two, three, four, keep that spine straight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, other side, one, two, three, Side to side, one, so if you don't have your alignment right, you're going to lose your balance, it forces you to be aware of your posture. 
Let the legs do the work, and not your upper body. The legs is what's supposed to help propel you upward. Pushing through the top of the head. Oh yeah, and then we finish. Okay, to challenge yourself, to challenge yourself with this next one. Let's do a little wider, take a little wider base. Huh? Sit a little lower. And now, begin the turn. You see now this is more difficult. And there's more leg action involved. You're gonna feel where the restriction in the lower extremities are now. Be careful with this, don't force it. Let the body sway with it now. Turn the waist. Oh yeah. Ten more. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly come back up in your natural position. Relax, regain your alignment. That's your waist turn drill. 